Hi Sagittarius, this is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Modern Witch Tarot, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Now, during pre-shuffle, three cards jumped out of the deck. So let's get to those because that's pretty important for you. So you have the Seven of Swords, right? The Ace of Pentacles and the king of wands so sagittarius someone may be doing something sneaky behind your back but if you have a plan to execute on a particular idea that you have i feel like most importantly if there is someone who you are associated with or affiliated with who's a little sketchy don't tell them what you're doing. Don't tell them. Don't talk about your plans. Keep it to yourself. Don't tell them nothing. Because their sneaky behind is going to go behind your back and talk about it. And or try to even steal your idea. So don't tell them nothing. You know who I'm talking about. You already know. So don't say nothing. Just keep it to yourself. Keep it close to your heart. They don't need to know. Are they significant? Are they significant? Are they a significant component to your desire, your dream, your goal, your task? No, they're not. So don't tell them anything. Come back. You want to tell somebody? Tell me. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me. Talk. Oh, I could keep a secret. Don't play with me. I could keep a secret. But don't tell them. All right. You could tell your other friend who is a really good friend who's not going to tell anyone, but don't go telling everyone what you're doing. Keep it close to your heart. Just because someone is associated with you doesn't mean that they have your best interests at heart. Excuse me. Hello. Sometimes those are the people who are smiling in your face and then behind the smile, they are not, they don't have your, your best interests at heart. I'm just telling you the truth right now. So don't tell them anything. Keep it to yourself because you've got this idea, this creative idea that will generate financial abundance and material wealth for you. So go for it. I know we're in Mercury retrograde, but let me tell you something. You could still make, hold on here. I'm just trying to get the glare off the card. You can still make magic during Mercury retrograde, okay? You can take your time, cross your T's, dot your I's, period. Read everything thoroughly, fine print included. I know it takes a while to read the fine print, but you need to read the fine print too if it uh, is required, okay? But you can make this happen even during Mercury Retrograde. Just take your time to work on it, but yeah, there's somebody you can't trust. So don't tell them about what's happening. Don't tell them about this amazing creative idea that God has given you that you're going to be working on that's going to be a blessing to you both materially and financially. Okay? And some people, you can't tell them anything because they tell everything. You tell them and you say, don't tell anyone as soon as you tell them that and you're done telling them all the tea, they go tell someone else. And they tell them, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm just saying. So don't even do it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Like I said, you want you want to talk to someone about it? Come talk to me. Talk to me. Okay? All right. Now we got that out of the way. Let's see what else comes out for you. Comes up for you, rather. God most high angel spirit, guys, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What else do you want Sagittarius to know that's for their well-being and the highest form of love and light? They already blessed. You told me blessed already. Yes, God. Let's see. Thank you, God most high. Look. Defend your position. See? If you tell them, then you're going to have to defend your position. So don't tell them. Because if you tell them, they're going to tell someone else, like I said, and look, there's a bunch of swords here. 
So don't tell them because then they're going to tell someone else who's going to have an opinion and then you're going to have to tell them, this is my dream. This is my desire. I don't even know why you're adding your two cents in. It's unsolicited guidance. It's unsolicited information, dot, 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 or whatever you're going to tell them. But to avoid having to do that, don't tell nobody except your best, 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 best friend who's not going to tell anyone in the whole world, okay? Only tell that person. And if you don't have that person, come back here. I'll be that person for you. I got you. I got you, okay? I'm just saying. Yeah. Because I can hold a secret. Don't play with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> But anyway, defend, defending your position is what you're going to end up doing if you tell them about how God about to bless you or however you honor the higher power, about to pour out blessings, opening up doors of opportunities, clearing the path for you, making the way for success. You're going to have to end up defending your position if you tell them because they're going to start gossiping you don't want that all right so keep it to yourself it's really that simple otherwise you're gonna have to hold the position of i say what i said and that's it look at her stance her body language is very stern if you tell them and they start talking trash about what you're doing they start saying, oh, that's never going to happen. Or, oh, I can't believe you're trying to do that. Oh, that's never going to work. You remember when such and such did that? They failed at it. And oh my goodness. And you, no, 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 no. No. You don't need to hear all that negativity. So to prevent that, don't tell them. <laughs> don't say nothing to them. Tell your bestie. Because you don't want to have to have to check them. You know what I'm saying? Because you could use that energy for what you're going to be working on. You don't want to have to use your energy to stand up to others. Because they don't even believe the vision. Isn't that something? Because some people can't see your vision. They can't be there for you. They can't support you. It's unfortunate. But that's a real because everyone can't see the vision that God most higher, however you honor the higher power has given you. It's your vision. Some people can grab hold to it and support you and be with you and be your best and biggest cheerleader and, you know, just be there for you. But some people cannot. They just don't have it in them. They can't see it. All they see, oh, that's going to fail. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, I would not do that. Yeah, we know they wouldn't do it because it's not for them. <laughs> it's not for them to do it. So I'm just saying, don't tell them so you don't have to put yourself through all that. You know what I'm saying? You can easily avoid it. Like when someone shares their vision with me, oh, you would think it's my vision. I'm like, what? Go get it. Yes, I'm excited. When you start, what can I do? How can I support you? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, because that's how I'm built. But everyone's not built that way. You know what I mean? So, because of that, just be careful about who you're sharing with. You don't need to share it. Right? You see, she's looking back like, now I got to wash my back. Got to watch, excuse me, watch my back. No. When someone's going to do something dishonorably behind your back, you know you don't need to tell them. You ever told someone something and was like, dang, why did I tell that person? Like you feel it in your soul that you shouldn't have, tell, you shouldn't have told them what you told them. You know what I'm saying? You tell them something and then you're like, why did I tell that person that? I know I'm not by myself. So don't have that regret. Simply just don't say nothing to them because they're not going to be supportive. 
I would even dare to say that they might be low-key jealous. They might be low-key jealous. Sag. But you have everything you need to succeed. You have the ace of pentacles divine successful blessing that's going to produce abundance of finance and you have the king of wands king of wands is an entrepreneur who can take something take nothing and make something the king of wands is amazing he will take what he has and use it to create something amazing and people will buy into it. So that's you. That's your energy. That's the energy around you. The ace and the king. But the seven of swords is there too. But to prevent from having to defend yourself behind, uh, by dealing with someone who is lacking integrity, don't tell them anything. I don't know how many times I could say that to you. But I hope you get it. And so you got wands here twice. You got the king of wands and the seven of wands. And the number seven is associated with success. So you will be successful as long as you don't share it with everyone. Let them see your end product, service, whatever it is, when you share it with the world. And you may be bubbling up inside and wanting to tell them about it. Don't tell them. Go tell your bestie. Go tell the person who you know you can trust. And I repeat, if you don't have that person in your life, holla at your girl. Holla at your girl. Okay? I'll be right here for you. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. This is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Oh, let me just tell you this. Even with the King of Wands, stay focused. Stay focused on what it is that you're going to be working on. Don't get distracted. And take your time. Remember, we're in Mercury retrograde season, so take your time. If you rush, you're probably going to make a mistake that you're going to later regret. So don't rush. Take your time. And even if you decide you want to just use this time to make preparation and plan, and then as soon as Mercury retrograde is over, you hit the ground running, you could do that too. It's completely up to you. But you certainly can be successful doing this time. Just take your time. Remember, Mercury retrograde is here to help us to slow down. All right? So now, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and press the subscribe button to join us here because I would love to have you. I thank you for giving this message a thumbs up, for commenting, for sharing, for also turning on your post notifications. And if you're a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment. You could just drop me a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis in the comment section to let me know that this message did touch your heart in some way. All right. So thanks again. Take good care of yourself. Peace and blessings to you. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.